Hi there, my name is Jacob. I am a former antenna designer and applications engineer who started taking up web development as a hobby a few years ago. I recently created a project for fun that I wanted to share with you in hopes that someone out there might be able to learn from my experience, or even so that you can help me with your feedback. This application is based on an application that no longer exists, which a friend of mine found useful at helping him memorize words. Now let me give you a tour of this application that we're going to rebuild together. Let's go to wordmem.test. You're looking at WordMem, a full-stack application built with React and TypeScript for client-side features, and Node also with TypeScript for the server-side component of the application. Let's log in and check it out. What you see here is actually a second client application for managing a user's account. This secondary application is built with Vue and Go. Routing from the URL to the actual application service running in a Docker container is handled with Traffic's reverse proxy. Now let's log in with the user I've already created. After successful login, we're returned to the memorization application. On the first page, you see a summary of the words we need to review today. Words on this page are shown if their age in days falls within a number in the Fibonacci sequence. For example, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. Let's now navigate to your list. Here, we can get a list of all the words we have created. We can also update items in this list or add new words by selecting Create Word or selecting the current word. Let's create a word, uh, dog, a thing that woofs. As you can see, dog is now added. We can also edit previously created words, as shown. Let's change the date, and it is saved. Furthermore, the list on this page features data querying which supports infinite scrolling by using the fantastic React Query Library. Next, let's return to the account application by clicking on the user profile image in the upper right-hand corner. On this page, back at the view application, we can edit the user's details. In this demo application, we'll keep the user details simple. We can change the user's email address, name, and personal website. We can also update or delete the user's profile image. Here's an example. Let's just find a nice profile here. And there we go. While this page appears basic, there's a lot we'll learn from it, like uploading an image from your application to Google Cloud Storage and emitting an event with Google Cloud PubSub so that other services or microservices can be informed when a user's information has changed. Check out the link in the video description for a written version of this video, along with a diagram charting the various components of this application. Next time, we'll get started scaffolding out the account application in Go and setting up Docker and our reverse proxy. See you then!